Let me ask you first about one thing Mario Draghi said. It's uncontroversial that Greece is going to need a haircut. It is kind of the 900-pound elephant in the room. They can't afford to pay all this debt. They're going to need to deal with it somehow. Even Wolfgang Schäuble says they should just leave the Eurozone to erase it. What do you think the solution is? I think the solution that most likely will be found is that the Europeans will do something much more generous in terms of a debt relief. I don't think it's going to be an outright haircut, face value reduction, because uh, as you heard Schäuble this morning, that's not permitted under the treaty. But um, the Europeans can agree to much longer repayment periods, a much longer grace period, a much longer repayment period. So effectively, Greece pays virtually no debt service to the Europeans for you know, a couple of decades. And that would give them time and would give them flexibility to implement all these uh, really challenging structural reforms that uh, they've agreed to over the weekend. And now the parliament has approved uh, early this morning. Mm -hmm. So uh, that would be helpful. The IMF has signaled that that would be acceptable. But it does have to be significantly longer grace periods and a much longer maturities. But, Ms. Lunsager, we still don't know when the Greek banks are going to reopen. We still don't know if they are going to ease limits on cash withdrawals. Could that not throw a wrench into this whole situation? Uh, it could. I think what uh, uh, President Draghi signaled at his press conference today is that uh, over the next week, he is uh, the ECB is providing increased DLA, as you mentioned. But also, I think he was signaling if these uh, negotiations get started, and you see several European parliaments already voting in approval of uh, starting negotiations, that perhaps the ECB can then go beyond the week. And then even during the press conference, there was the signal that perhaps uh, Greece could even participate in the normal quantitative easing that the ECB is uh, undertaking these days if it adheres to a program. And that would be very helpful as well. Let me ask you about something else uh, Mario Draghi said today that I think is more controversial. He said that the package the EU put together and that the Greek parliament just voted through is meant to spur growth, is uh, supposed to help the economic situation. I don't think many Americans would think that a huge tax hike would be a, a good idea when you want to spur growth. Do you believe that that was really what's behind this, uh, this austerity policy? I think the, uh, what's been behind the austerity policy has been uh, how difficult the financing is uh, for the Greeks. And the reason they propose these tax increases at, on the VAT is because the Greeks haven't been very effective at improving revenue collection on income tax. With that said, I think what uh, Mario Draghi was referring to is a lot of the structural measures that would make it easier for businesses to set up, for insolvent businesses to close. And yes, that would help uh, growth. Of course, that's unlikely to be an immediate boost to growth. And so uh, I think it will be a challenge for the next uh, coming months, even years, for the Greek economy to grow. And they'll need continued support from the European partners. Personally, I'd yeah. like to see the Europeans undertake some significant investment in Greece, find uh, some projects that could have high visibility and create some jobs. Uh, Ms. Lunsager, this, this whole scenario, which has been going on for years now, it has crippled the Greek economy to the point where we have seen a dramatic and a, and a heartbreaking decline in the living standards for the average citizen of Greece. Is any of this, what the ECB announced today, what the parliament voted on, is any of this going to be enough to dramatically improve the living standards of the average person in Greece? And how long might, might that take? Uh, I think you're right that uh, it is going to be tough for uh, Greek citizens, especially the lower income ones, and it will take time before they see an improvement in their living standards. So I think uh, the Europeans are going to have to continue to support Greece in one form or another, not just through this, this debt relief, but also through possibly some kind of uh, transfers that will help support the uh, lowest, income in the uh, lowest income citizens in the country. This will be a real challenge, and uh, I'm sorry to say I do think it will be very tough for a long period to come. I do hope that uh, the rest of the Greek citizens who are a little bit better off uh, step forward and pay their taxes and help be part of the solution and perhaps repatriate some of the funds that they've taken out of the country.